I told her, I always worry about, uh, yeah, okay, do that. Okay. Well, uh, I, feel, I feel a little bit shy. Uh, how come? Because it's such a rowdy crowd you got here. Yeah, today. oh yeah. Great to see you. I'll be back next uh, time. I, <laughs> it's great to see you too. And uh, I saw recently uh, that you got serenaded uh, by Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban. Yeah. That was that must have been. Was that a total surprise? Yeah. Uh, you know, I was being honoured at this thing, and and uh, it's an Australia Day ball thing, and uh, they honour Australians every year, and I was one of the three this year. And uh, I asked Nicole to introduce me with a little speech, and I had to write a speech. So I called her during the week, and I said you know, what's your speech about? Because maybe I can sort of hone in on a few of the things that you're going to say. And she said, I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> but I have a surprise. And she did a lovely speech, and then Keith came out, and they played a little song, and I'm kind of getting a little... It was, it was really... It was, it was, it was really, it was really sweet. Cool. Yeah, I didn't really have a cool. tiny clip. Let's look at it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Give it up for Simon Baker. A guy's guy, a girl's heartbreaker. He's a sexy baby maker. And secretly a laptop screen saver. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty cool. And that was your beautiful wife. And uh, t remind me her name again? Rebecca. Rebecca. She's Australian as yes. well. And, uh, and you met there, obviously? We, we met there, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And did you get married there or here? Both. Two <laughs> marriages, no divorces. Really? Good, yeah. I'm bringing up the stats. That's great. Uh, Keep getting married over and over. Yeah. No more divorces, just marriage. Yeah, we, we got married here in Carmel. Uh, just I love Carmel. Isn't it beautiful yeah. there? Yeah, yeah. What, what, where did you get married there? We got married on the beach, uh, my, just my wife, uh, my daughter and I, mm -hmm. and we gave Stella a little ring as well. She lost it before we even got to the car. <laughs> but, uh, it was pretty cheap. Uh -huh, good. Yeah. Um, and we got married by, actually, I think the guy was like the chief of police at Carmel. And what I do really remember about my wedding in Carmel, which is pretty sad, is that he had a pocket full, it was a chain smoker, he had a pocket full of cigarettes just floating free, like about 60 cigarettes in his top pocket. Like without a box? Without a box, just sort of free. Just quicker to get to that way. Lighting them one off another while a little celebrant sort of married us down on the beach and he was waiting back by the car to sign the paperwork and he, uh. he signed it all up on the hood of the car while he was sort of chain smoking. Uh. <laughs> Sounds very romantic. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, That's what I remembered. That's yeah. shocking, isn't no, it? No. Yeah, you, it seems like you'd remember more about your wife, but I guess... Yeah. You know. She wore a nightie. Uh-huh. <laughs> that night or during the ceremony? That's a little bit too much information to share. All right, well, <laughs> during you, the ceremony. You brought it up. Yeah, I did. She, I? You wore a nightie during the ceremony? Yeah, it was a beautiful nightie. Well, I'm sure it was, but... Yeah. It was on the beach. Oh, know, well then. Just at the, you know... At the edge of the beach. She's going to kill me. For saying that. Really? <laughs> I think we have pictures. It's... No. <laughs> no, These we don't. These days, we probably do. But we do have pictures of you surfing. Look at that. That's very good. <laughs> and then you put, you put a camera on the surfboard. Is that right? Yeah, I've always been very interested in photography. I love mm -hmm. photography and I love surfing and I love surf photography, but I've never had the patience to sit out of the water while someone else takes the photos. So that's so, on the... So I put it on my board. Okay. I was mucking around with it one day. And I broke it, like, the very next wave, so... Oh. That was wow, a waste that, of time. that's amazing. It's kind of... Yeah, it's just... Uh... I actually, you know, I actually narrated a a surfing film uh, just about six months ago that comes out in, in uh, March in Australia in May here called Going Vertical about the shortboard revolution. Mm -hmm. So it's been a, it's a huge passion. Very cool. No, you're very good at it. <laughs> um, and what's going on on The Mentalist right now? It's doing very, very well. Yeah, we, 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 have, uh, we have Malcolm McDowell doing an episode mm -hmm. that starts shooting today. Great. Um, who's fantastic. Yes. We're really happy to have guys like that on the show. We've, we've had some fantastic guest actors that have really helped yeah. keep the the quality of the show up. Um, I'm having a ball, still having a good time. Well, you good. should come and do one. Oh, with all my spare time, I'll be there. Yeah. I will. I would love to, though. I'd love well, to. Well, in all my spare time, I get here. No. <laughs> hey, you got me there. Uh, They're a nice audience. I know. <laughs> no you're, booze. You're absolutely no booze. right. I will be on as soon as I can.